The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our own page and check out our more videos. Thank you. I'll continue this evening by discussing one or two people, uh, one old man and another old lady. Me to a sui, ye bobo mo die di nkomo afani pa bendu bi ho ba ko e ya kokra na ba ko nso ye abrewa. I'm interested in the experience with God. Nya me ni a chira so pa no any won sui ehuna won nya free onya me ho. See, how talk of I'll start with Simeon. Me the Simeon e be shase ye. Simeon. See the Jews regarded their own nation as the chosen people. They actually believed in themselves. See, during Jesus' time, for example, by far the greater number of them believed, despite the situation that they were in, that they were born someday to become masters of the world. And laws of all nations. Okay. Yesu Bresu no na wonyi na ajwo ho di pa se enche bia cheche kra won ankasa wo betumi adi won ho so e wo wiase ha. See they were they thought that they were bound someday to become masters of the world and laws of all nations. Na wo ankasa no adwo ho di se enche anada che bi wo be ye wiase nyina so di fo. So to bring in that day some believed that some great celestial champion would descend upon the earth and then bring that kind of liberation. Some of them also believe that there will rise another king like David and all the glories that Israel had during the time of David will return and nations will come under them again. Na ebi nsu jidi se o hinke si ebi be sorry ti se o hini David ya ni breso no ebe me ni onyama anu wa wo ti se di anu wa wo David di breso no ube nya ni nina ebi yo. Still at the some of them still believe that God would descend upon this earth in a supernatural way to cause this to come to pass. Ni ebi nsu jidi se o nyanku po anka sabi sani form e wa se di o ti eni mo na wa ma wei etu mi abe mo. Now some of the Jews like the zealots were extremists. They will fight the Romans uh, because they want to liberate the Israelites from the hands of the Romans. You da phone bi nsu ana want to to onjide na se crowd ho ko kan we be yan to kwa no na wo ko nto kwa se ne be ya obetumi agi wo ho afi hela fo ana se Roman fo ense. So the average Israelite was expecting some deliverer. It is so or you the need ye bribe mu no twen so gifo bi ebeba but as to who and when was the speculation and so gifo kro ne de de bia no no wo twen wo dwendwen se be ye hwan as chapter 1 from verse 4 mum ye hwe asoma fo no nyuma no tie di kan e fi nyimu nan no e read 4 to 6 e be kan akosi ensia no this was when jesus was parting with the disciples abri e ye bra na yesu ni esua fo no edi ntitemu no on one occasion while he was still while he was eating with them he gave them this command do not leave jerusalem but wait for the gifts my father promised which you have heard me speak about na oni won si aye no o share won say won free jerusalem nko na mmum won twen agya no bosha o se say muti free menum no for john baptized with water but in few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Say Yohanne dear or the insuo ebo esu na mudie and ne you mono erin che na obebo mu esu hum kungrumu. Now so Jesus is talking about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the and the father they should wait for the promise of the father yesu or ka eja no bo sha won twen ho asem ene hum kungrum ho asem. Now let's listen to the disciple. Umi enti esu afo no e. 
Then they gathered around him and asked, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And I will share no will be sano say every day bring you and I will be sang the Ahimia no Ama Israel Anna. Now so they were expecting a deliverer and a restoration of their power in the kingdom so that they will no longer be under the rule of any nation. So when Jesus said you will have power, the spirit will come, he said, Hey, is it time now for the liberation? This thought was not just limited to the Jews, but to the Israelites. The Samaritans also were expecting the Messiah. Who will come and deliver them? We na enye yuda fo onkwa na wadwen sa Samaria fo ni Israel fo nyina no na wadwen se dachi bi ojifo bi be ba beji won. Even up to today there are some Israelites who are still expecting the Messiah to come. Ye ka se ukra no yuda fo ni bi e da so ho Israel fo ni bi da so ho a wotwen se Messiah no e be ba. John chapter 4 from verse 19. Ye ken kan fi Yohanna asempa no 89 if you, don't echo, yes. if you don't echo, echo. Said the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped in this mountain, on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Now listen to this Samaritan woman. The woman said, I know that I the woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. So this woman was also expecting the Messiah to come. For the first time, Jesus, then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am He. Now, this I am He. Then the woman left everything and Brought the whole of Samaria to Christ. Yes, you air control Samaria Her simple message was this: I have found him. The one that our, our forebears spoke about, the Messiah. He's at Jacob's well. And because all of them were expecting the deliverer. They rush out to go and see. Obano ni mirike tuwa munu na semu nina niye mehunu no. Niya e janom anase yinye janom kano huwa semu do nene mezaya no. Mehunu owo isak e subra no ho. Na wanyina bo chi e di nechi. So, but in the midst of all these expectations, there were some few people that, the, that were described as the quiet in the land. They had no dreams of violence. And of power of armies. They believed in a life of constant prayer and quiet watchfulness until God should show up. Yes, was a heart leaning on his word and a heart pursuing God. Simeon was a heart leaning on his one of these faithful people. And the Bible said God has promised him that he will not die until he sees. God's salvation, the Messiah. Now I want you to look at how God will promise an individual that you will not die until you see the Messiah. For you to know and understand that God is knowable and we can have a, a serious and an intimate relationship with him. 
me mwati ase ni wahu se wanyankopon yo bia obetumi ehunu no na obetumi ni nya ayonkofaso nko so when they brought the messiah the lord jesus christ the little boy to the temple the holy spirit said my friend it is time come let me go and show you the messiah and to bra what the christo e ba asori den ni mu ho no konkron ka kire no say bra na me konkwa kire o ene ajenkwa no aba asori den mu says moved by the spirit Simeon went to the temple area, not into the sanctuary, because they, the offering was not done in the sanctuary. Offering was done in the temple area, if you like the courts. And the church said, "We come from no other than court. I sorry them who are not seeing 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 them who so that is where he actually met Jesus. The one casa and we see a Christo and his parents. And it now for." Taking him in his arms. Can you imagine that? You just brought you your child. You're going to perform the normal rituals. And this old man comes and pick your boy. And he uttered the memorable hymn now known as Nooks. Demeters. Now dismiss. Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. But look at human beings living with God. And he says, The Lord. You can now dismiss me in peace. Now let me die. That is, I can now die. He said, dismiss me now, in oh, peace. Oh, he doesn't have any fear of death. Because my eyes have seen your salvation. If which you have prepared in the sight of all nations. A light for the revelation of the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. For listening to the big one. The reason why I'm talking about come close. In the spirit and the church says come. Come. See, come and taste that the Lord is good. This year we want to have an intimate relationship with God. God is knowable. So reposition your heart. Look at the old man Simeon and God. Now pay attention to this big one. I want it to be projected so that wherever you are, we'll read together. There is a mystery. There is a mysterious communication of divine knowledge to those who walk in quiet contemplative fellowship with God. Don't want us to rise from this. Because I want you to grab this one. That there is a mysterious communication of divine knowledge. Now look at Simeon and God. Divine knowledge to those who walk in quiet, contemplative fellowship with God. There is there's a mysterious communication there. You don't need any pastor to lay hands on you. You don't need a go-between because God can talk to you, can, can, can relate with you. And those who get so close with God, there's a mysterious communication of divine knowledge to those who walk in quiet contemplative fellowship with God. Let me talk about contemplative. We are talking about continued attention. Now let me confirm this statement with this counterpart story. Luke chapter 2. Look at Sempano Etimienu. Now, this is about an old lady, Anna. Her way, if I bring Anna home, 
from 36 please there was also a prophet anna and anna or hannah is the same name now do you for baby our friend anna anna hannah to the jews who say hannah and then now the greek we say anna the daughter of Fenner, Fenner, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. Fenner, Ba, Ufri Asher, Ebusiyan Kuomu, Wenyini, Na, Owari, Nikun, Owari, Nikunum, Nemaba, Brimu, Na, Nikunut, Tina, Oni, Nikunut, Tina, and Frisia, and so on. And then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. There should be something nice about working with God. You understand that somebody like this, now her food she ate was fasting and praying and connecting with the spirit and she could she could be sustained in that kind of atmosphere till 84 years wow wow she mama me fi se ni kunu efri mu no o transe a na na brabo nyina no o hu se biribi e wo onyankopon ayonko fa ho a eye nika enti na duane odi pa ene akonche empire bo some were the dinia brabui, and no muna, nor the etia, I could be in Frisia at your watching. Let's take this big one, verse 38. Coming up to them at that very moment, to them that the Joseph, Mary, and the little child, at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. Na bra worry to about friendly dino or to us who in you mo edu assign what you are saying I don't know a remuno or no so bejina hobi a ye on yanko pon aya sara no can one sem tre one worry train or jia worry be ji Jerusalem nunina spoke about the child or can but friend who wants to all those who are expecting that redemption a tre one war train or jia nunina old man old woman a kokura walking in close fellowship with God to the extent that they know God and they understand this child may I invite you to walk in contemplative love and in the fear of God it, its benefits exceed silver and gold. It is much more precious than rubies. There is nothing sweeter than that. Its generational inheritance. It, it, it is a generational inheritance, as you say, for those who discover it. Let us move to Psalm 25. Psalm 25, verse 13. Psalm 25, verse 13. I know I'm talking to pastors. I'm talking to some of you who are elders. It is not enough to be a pastor. What is desired of you is to know God closely. So Psalm 25 verse 12. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. So this is not limited to a so-called prophet. Who then? The relationship that God wants to have for us is whosoever will. He says, said in the last day, whosoever wants to drink, come and you will drink of the Holy Spirit freely. Who then are those who fear the Lord? Who then? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. The Bible is a general word. 
Trosem no e ye asem e dumaye nina. But those who walk in contemplative fellowship with God, God will instruct them in the way they should choose. Now so wa wani nyanko pon nanti bom ayonko fa kwa inso no o nyame chira won kwa won fa so. They will spend their days in prosperity. Wa ben nanti won na se wa wa be dore e wo papa yo. You don't need anointing oil. Oh yeah so wa di ngu bi egu wa pam pam. You don't need a special uh, uh, pastor to lay hands on you. Oh yeah se sofu sunku bi e de nsa e beto so. And their descendants will inherit the land. Ke na wa se fo e be nya sase no edi. The Lord confines in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. Now, in this particular psalm, David envisions those who walk in contemplative fellowship and fear with God. Now, as those who enjoy God's best. This kind of a person who experience unmistakable guidance. Now God will show him the way they should choose. Unmistakable guidance. We bear needless pain. We carry a needless burden. Because we don't walk closely with the master. Number two, this kind of a person will experience personal prosperity. He will enjoy abundant provision. Now this kind of a person who experience family security. His children will possess the land. See this kind of a person okay. who enjoy divine fellowship. He will be in the inner circles of friends to who God reveals his mind and ways in an intimate manner. How many of us want to be in the inner circles of, of friends of God? I just want you to lift your hand and begin to speak to God. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, said you Oh, Jesus. how I love Jesus. Yes, you said you missed. Sing, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, oh, because yes, he first last. His hand said, Oh, no, no, the kind of dog. I love to hear. I love to sing his words. It sounds like music.
love Jesus. Oh, Senior, I'm seeing that the church will come back to loving Jesus. See, the issue is not about money. It's not about the bigness of your car. It's not about teaching prosperity in church. The gospel itself brings prosperity. Now, Psalm 25, let's look at verse 14 again. The Lord confines in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. People who fear him and walk in close fellowship him, God confines in those who fear him. When we say confine, we are talking about discussing private matters. See, see, God is knowable. And he wants to have fellowship with us. To the extent that he wants to discuss private matters with you. So God will want to discuss private matters with you. He wouldn't need a go-between. Psalm 103, verse 7. Psalm 103, verse 7. Shall we read together if you can? Ready, go. He made his way... Oh, I was... I had a King James in my head. I was just quoting King James and reading NIV. Yes, yeah, so let's read the NIV read, ready go. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. Now, so there are two people here, two yeah. groups. First group. Is one called Moses. Your friend Moses. Second group is all Israel. He made his ways known to Moses. For the rest of them, they saw his deeds. So much difference between the two. When he say God makes his ways known, it means that God makes his methods and his plans. His means of attaining things and his means of doing things or his direction, he made it known to one man called Moses. And when we talk about this, we are talking about the end product. Today, the computer science will say the back end. So there are certain people who are always looking at the deeds. They just know the back end. But there are some who are so close to God that they know his ways. How he began his, his directions. Which of these groups will you want to belong to? Reposition your hands. I want to just throw light on why this, why Moses knows his ways and the others just know the back end. There's a lot about Moses in the Bible. So interpreting papa, papa. him is not difficult. Exodus 33. From verse 7, please. Now Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp, some distance away, calling it the tent of meeting. Anyone, anyone, I mean anyone, inquiring of the Lord, anyone inquiring of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. Now Moses Tafa and to Madan Edu could see and Strabano a tree tree now of Renu in Shire and to Madan. No Biara or Shisha a Radino free a D a coach Shire and to Madan a what in Strabano a tree no And whenever Moses went out to the tent 
all the people rose and stood at the entrance of their tents. Now, you enter the tent, and then the rest of them will stand at the entrance of their own tents watching. Watching Moses until he entered the tent. What As he's going, they just say, Ah, there goes Moses. He's entered. But they will stand at the entrance of their tent, not the tent of meeting, where the people meet with God. But that tent was for everyone. As Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and stay at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they all stood and worshipped each at the entrance of their tents. Then the Lord will speak to Moses face to face. Now, a ni Moses di in she ni mu ekasa as one speaks to a friend. Se onipa eni ni yonko ekasa. That is how intimate God wants to be with us. Okay. Se inu nyanko pompe se oni yin to me face to face. Se yebe to me no abo kuni mu. Face to face. Yebe to me ne siya as one speaks to his friend. Se onipa eni ni yonko ekasa. Reposition your heart. Se wakuma ding. Reposition your heart. Se wakuma jine ye pa. Because the Lord wants you to come closer. Se inu nyanko pompe se wuchi ebe no. Hmm. Then Moses will return to the camp. But his young age, Joshua, son of Nun, did not leave the tent. No wonder he was the right choice, the person to replace him. Now, verse 12. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. And Moses said, catch the word, he said, she, wara, na, wara, catch the word, he said, fa, ome, you call, nan, so, oh, mami, you know, dear, obe, suma, no, na, one, me, akro, nan, so, wara, and I walk and say, me de wudin, me, ni, mo, na, we, nyam, me, nim, en, yu, nyam, en, so. Now, when we say, what says I know you by name? It means that he's, he's talking about an intimate relationship that he has with Moses. Now, I want to end here. See, if Moses will enter the tent and God will speak face to face with him, and the rest of them will stand at the entrance of their own tent, they wouldn't know the ways of God. Okay. They will only observe his deeds. But God is inviting you tonight to come for that intimate relationship so that you will know his ways. Not just his deeds. Let us make time. Reposition your heart. Now when you go home, or you may want to continue and read Psalm 34. Just read from 7 to the end. But this is this is my prayer for you tonight. My prayer for you is in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 5. May the Lord direct your heart into God's love and Christ's 
perseverance. Ewura de emma wu hunu o nyankopon do eni Kristo bo ase tomu. My prayer for you. Yim pa ema o se. And for everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice. Sampo ye mi yi e de ma ubi biara o temene. That may the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Se ewura de emma mu hunu o nyankopon do eni Kristo bo ase tomu. May the Lord direct your heart into God's love. And Christ's perseverance. Amen. Amen.